The UFO phenomenon is indeed a strange and enigmatic world, filled with reports of peculiar sightings, encounters with extraterrestrial beings, and otherworldly experiences. While many stories portray encounters with entities like the ubiquitous greys, or reptilians, there exists a subset of encounters that suggest a more human element intertwined with the UFO phenomenon. These encounters where humans interact with UFO occupants who appear human themselves present a fascinating and perplexing aspect of the broader UFO narrative. One such case dates back to September 1972 in Palenque, Dominican Republic. An anonymous witness reported encountering three aliens clad in tight gray uniforms with lemon peel, like textures. These beings communicated fluently in Spanish and claimed to have once been human. One of them, who identified himself as Freddie Miller, recounted being rescued by aliens from drowning in the sea seven years prior. The encounter left the witness bewildered, raising questions about the nature of these purportedly human-like extraterrestrial beings and their interactions with humans. Similarly, in November 1974, on the outskirts of Huesca, Spain, a couple encountered a humanoid figure in need of a wrench to fix his UFO. The humanoid, claiming to be a human named Dr. Flor, from Barcelona, spoke perfect Spanish and requested assistance in repairing his spacecraft. Despite the surreal nature of the encounter, the couple obliged, providing the wrench before witnessing the humanoid's departure into the night sky. In 1989, Spanish UFO researcher J.J. Benitez investigated a case involving teenagers who observed two figures materialize into human form before disappearing aboard a UFO on a beach in southern Spain. The incident, shrouded in mystery, underscored the elusive nature of UFO encounters involving seemingly human occupants. The El Yunque rainforest in Puerto Rico became the backdrop for another peculiar encounter in October 1974, a group of UFO researchers encountered three individuals wearing identical anodyne uniforms, prompting speculation about their origin and purpose. The subsequent disappearance of incriminating photographs added to the intrigue surrounding the encounter. The infamous disappearance of Australian pilot Frederick Valentich in 1978 during a flight over Victoria, Australia, further deepen the mystery surrounding human involvement in UFO-related incidents. Valentich's radio transmission describing a UFO encounter before his disappearance, coupled with later claims of his reappearance in Tenerife, Canary Islands, fueled speculation about his potential recruitment by aliens for undisclosed purposes. These cases, while diverse in nature, raise profound questions about the motives and implications of human involvement in UFO phenomena. Some theories, such as Louis Anglada Font's hypothesis of a nefarious alien agenda involving human collaborators, offer unsettling perspectives on the potential consequences of such encounters. The notion of humans being recruited as spies, terrorists, or even participants in an alien invasion force challenges conventional understandings of the UFO phenomenon and its implications for humanity. Despite the speculative nature of these theories, the underlying mystery persists, leaving researchers and enthusiasts alike to ponder the true nature of human UFO interactions. Whether driven by curiosity, coercion, or clandestine motives, the phenomenon of humans encountering and even piloting UFOs remains a compelling and enigmatic aspect of the broader UFO narrative. As researchers continue to explore these cases, the quest for answers amidst the uncertainty of the unknown continues unabated.